Good morning. I'm Sarah Warburton, a member of Blacksburg United Methodist Church, and thank you for joining me this morning for our first five minutes devotional. We are using the Book of Common Prayer for Everyday Radicals, um, available as a book from Cokesbury or Amazon, as well as an app from the App Store and online as well. Uh, please join me in prayer. Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. A reading from Psalms 139, verses 13 through 16. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. They were fashioned day by day, yet when as yet there was none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, O God, how great is the sum of them. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my restless thoughts. 20th century Catholic writer Flannery O'Connor said, I think there is no suffering greater than what is caused by the doubts of those who want to believe. I know what torment this is, but I can only see it, in myself anyway, as the process by which faith is deepened. What people don't realize is how much religion costs. They think faith is a big electric blanket, when of course it is the cross. Please join me in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. How merciful are you, O God, when you receive us, even with our doubts and suspicions. We pray to keep tiptoeing towards you without fear of rejection. We pray to keep up our feeble attempts at serving you, even when we question the worth of our efforts. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.